And I, next time I see you, I go walk right up to you. Erima, what are you doing on that YouTube, eh? Don't know if you got a girl. Don't mean to disrespect, but I'm telling you about my words. I even dream of you, I swear. Visions of you and I. So welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have this new tutorial on how I achieve this super matte face, as you guys can see from the thumbnail. Now, I feel like I'm about to be the bearer of absolute bad news because as y'all can see from the thumbnail, like, my skin is prospering, okay? It literally looks like God kissed my chick and said, give me. But, um, just to avoid anybody asking me, because I know it'll get asked, what's my skincare routine? I do not have one. I literally just remove my makeup. I use witch hazel to remove any excess makeup that didn't get removed with the makeup um, wipe. And then I wash my face with soap and it's never really a particular brand of soap I use. So there's not really um, a specific thing. And I'm not going to get on here and say, oh, I use this cream or I use this face moisturizer or I use Freeman or I use black soap like none of that I it's literally so simple but nonetheless I will show you guys how I achieve my current everyday makeup routine and this is very simple and easy and I know you guys will enjoy it all right all right so I'm gonna start off with, with my Becca matte primer <laughs> Opal Total Coverage Concealer, and this is in the color Beautiful Bronze. Okay, now, even though I'm applying it all over the face, I'm also going to apply it onto my lids as well, because, again, this is a concealer, so when I go over it with my um, setting powder for my highlight, that is just going to really set that in place. I also want to make sure that you're blending this out us immediately after um, applying it just because it's a concealer and this thing kind of dries up fast is what I've noticed. So I just make sure I go in and really blend this out quickly. going on my LA girl pro concealer which I use in almost every and any tutorial this is in the color toffee Topaz powder, which I mentioned before, I just placed in my Laura Mercier translucent powder containers. My Real Techniques Beauty Blender and just buff everything out. from Maybelline across the bottom of my lashes. Alright, so now 
so we can add a little warmth back into our face. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Queen Bronzer. I'm gonna use my pressed powder from Black Radiance and this is in the color cafe and I'm just going to use it to set it all over my face and kind of tying everything together especially this forehead woo I'm using my dark plum matte lipstick and my NYX lingerie lipstick in the color honeymoon from my makeup Shayla palette and I'm going to actually just apply this on my nose I don't really like for for y'all I really don't be highlighting like I used to so I just apply a little bit of this onto my nose just because my face is already mad and I want something to have a pop on my face other than my eyes so I just applied this literally to the button of my nose <laughs> on the bridge but nonetheless the button of the nose is what I just aim for when it comes to doing this look and yeah that's about it shine next time I see you I go walk right up to you